There is something to be said for the tradition of fine uh, leather. This well, not the finest leather. This is Galco, um, but leather for uh, for carrying uh, a firearm. Um, I'm kind of a traditionalist, of course. You know from watching. 22 parts of a great, the great affordable 1911 series. I'm a traditionalist to some extent when it comes to firearms too, having uh, the 1911 as my preference, although you've seen a couple of videos that I still like a revolver. So welcome to Rider's Range. We're going to talk holsters again today. We've done a couple of videos on those in the past. Um, for a long time, I've been very happy carrying this Galco holster and this Galco magazine pouch. I like leather, but there is a place for Kydex except Kydex has a drawback and that's the clack clack of the gun going in, the gun going out, whether it's uh, outside of the waistband, inside the waistband, they still make noise. So, wasn't too long ago I came across uh, a company called Garrett Industries. Uh, came, uh, came to them kind of a roundabout way, uh, but uh, they have sort of the best of both worlds. It's a Kydex holster with the form and fit of Kydex, but leather lined so you don't get the clack, clack, clack of the, of the Kydex, uh, but you also don't get the flexibility of leather. So I ordered the uh, STX, uh, actually the Silent Thunder X XTS 2.0, and I ordered it for my 1911 3.5 inch. I also ordered one for my uh, Wilson EDC X9. And they're uh, slightly different, obviously, they, they fit the guns differently. Uh, I also ordered the uh, K1D magazine pouch for the double stack and the K1. S for the single stack. Now these are kind of pricey items. The uh, the holsters themselves go for if you don't select any uh, any color options, they go for about a hundred dollars. The magazine pouch goes for um, thirty five dollars. Again, a little pricey. And for the um, uh, belt slide mount here, that's a little different than their traditional one. Uh, add uh, an extra three dollars for uh, for that mount. So again, kind of pricey. They do offer a, uh, a first responder and, uh, and military discount, um, and that obviously helps a little bit. So I ordered the uh, the holsters. Um, I'm currently wearing the holster for my uh, Dan Wesson ECO, and I have not made a modification to that yet that I want to talk about here in just a minute. Uh, these are these are well made, by the way. The uh, they're well put together. The material's nice. Uh, I haven't had any problem with the leather uh, coming unbonded from the uh, the Kydex yet. Uh, and again, the gun going in and out is just about as silent as leather, but yet it still grips well. So uh, happy with it. Oh, this is also adjustable for for cant and the. Uh, uh, belt slide does work very well on a leather belt or a, uh, a nylon belt. Of course, I'm wearing my Core Essentials EDC belt, and I also have uh, with me here the uh, Core Essentials EDC in, uh, in nylon, um, and actually I've worn that quite a bit. In fact, you can see it's actually getting a little bit of wear on it. I may have to uh, get a hold of Core Essentials on that. I've worn this belt a lot with this holster. So some some good and bad points about it. Obviously, the the uh, the combining of the two materials seems to be a really nice idea, and uh, this is well fitted. Now it doesn't quite have the the same form fitting that a plain Kydex does, but that's okay. Again, this gun's not falling out. But a couple of problems with them, and uh, you know I like them. Don't get me wrong. However, if you notice the way the this holster is constructed. There's a big flap of material here that's just kind of hanging out. And when I wear a cover garment over this, the gun prints a little bit, but that flap also does uh, have a tendency to print a little. I got a hold of Garrett, and they are extremely responsive, by the way, to uh, emails. I asked them if I would have any issues if I took a, a heat gun to the holster to uh, bend that flap in a little bit, if I'd have any delamination problems. They said, go for it. Um, I did, and I rounded that over quite a bit so that it doesn't print anywhere near as much. So uh, that was problem number one, solved with a heat gun. Very happy with it. And of course these do have uh, two adjustable tension screws on them, uh, which uh, provides real good secure for, uh, security for the gun. And it's got the usual rubber washers in there uh, for, the, uh, for the tension adjustment. Problem number two only came on the, uh, on the holster for the 
1911. And that is, I mean, if I, if I pull back when I draw, this gun draws uh, very smoothly. By the way, uh, no magazine, guns are empty. Does uh, reholster very nicely. This is very secure. I've got it, uh, this one tightened down a fair amount. I found when I loosened this particular holster a little bit, it exacerbated the problem. And again, if I draw with a rearward motion on the gun, it's fine. If I draw as my as I often do with a forward motion, then this gun hangs up. And you may be able to see it there. There is leather building right up on this edge here. Now I've tried it with every three and three and a half inch 1911 I have. They all do the same thing. I don't get that problem with the Wilson. I can pull forward on this all day long and it does come out very, very nicely. A couple of differences on these, actually one main difference, is this Wilson EDCX9 has a full carry melt treatment uh, and every um, every edge of this is rounded off. You can see just a little bit of a beveling right there. So there's nothing to snag on the holster. However, all of my 1911s have a fairly sharp edge here. It's uh, 90 degrees and actually uh, might even be a little bit more than that. But the leather has a tendency to catch right here as I'm drawing if there's any forward pressure on the gun. It's hanging up right inside the holster. I pulled out another uh, another piece of leather. So I've got to be careful how I draw and it, I, I understand that you need to get a technique that's going to work. However, I should be able to get a gun out of a holster no matter how I grab it, anytime I grab it. And right now, if I am pulling just a little bit forward, this is not coming out. There tearing even more leather off. So that's why I'm reluctant to carry the 1911 much with it. I carry the EDC uh, X9 with it quite a bit. So again, if I nice casual rearward draw, it's generally okay. Uh, forward draw, not so much. Magazine holder on the other hand works really well. Nice and stable on the belt, whether it's uh, carrying it to the double stack or the single stack. So. Uh, and that one's not leather line, by the way, that's just polymer. So, the uh, Silent Thunder STX 2.0, love everything about it. Uh, managed to get that little um, uh, area curved in here, which to me should have been done at the factory, but uh, it wasn't um, much to take a, a heat gun to it and mold that over a little bit. Love it for the EDC X9, not quite sold on it for the 1911 and it is definitely building up a lot of leather there on the edge of the ejection port. So that is the Garrett Industries Silent Thunder STX 2.0 and the uh, K1D and K1S for the uh, double stack and single stack magazine pouches. Uh, great blend of leather, Kydex, really great idea, wonderful for the EDC X9. Not quite so much right now for the 1911. I haven't communicated this to Garrett yet. Again, they've been very uh, uh, responsive to me. So um, I'm going to send them a copy of this video and uh, see what the response is. Um, so far, and by the way, this is not a paid promotion. I bought both holsters and both mag pouches out of uh, my money. And uh, they're not giving any consideration other than I did take advantage of, the, uh, of their discount for uh, a retired first responder and former military. So... Um, that's about it in a nutshell. Um, thanks for joining me down here in uh, the cave. Uh, it's uh, still chilly outside. Um, I probably could have gone out to shoot today, but I figured I'll do a holster video instead. So uh, this is the Riders Range Cave. You're welcome to join me anytime down here. If you like uh, this video, we appreciate a thumbs up and uh, certainly appreciate if you subscribe, click on the notifications bell, uh, let people know that uh, Riders Range exists out there. So please share the videos. Uh, any comments on this video are appreciated down below in the comments section. Comments on anything else, info at ridersrange.com. Send us an email and comment on any anything that, uh, uh, that you've seen or would like to see, uh, any ideas that you may have, and to see the full list of everything we've got going, plus a blog on, uh, on some other um, items that we talk about. Uh, I need to catch up on that too. And that's at ridersrange.com.
So, um, lots of ways to get a hold of us. We are on Facebook. I'm trying to get a presence on Twitter and uh, Instagram as soon as I learn those platforms. So, that's it on the Garrett Industries uh, Silent Thunder STX 2.0 holsters. Love it for one. Mixed emotions on the other one. Thanks for visiting the cave at Rider's Range.